In this video series, I'm gonna be building an off-grid water tower with two 55-gallon drums on top. It's gonna to be supplied by Ram Pump for watering trees and the garden and all those good things. So let's get started. Most of the trees around the property here are either oak or tulip poplar. And so to camouflage these blue barrels, I'm gonna be painting them gray. Should match the tree trunks pretty close. Here's the setup. I've got some paver stones with some six by six blocks and a bunch of unistrut. And that's gonna be the foundation of the storage tanks. And then to support the unistrut, I'm also gonna have some two by fours around the edge. So should be plenty strong for two tanks. Now, my previous storage tanks were down over here, as you can see, and they supplied a good bit of water, but had some issues with those tanks. So it's time for new tanks a little higher. To begin, I need to make four level places to put my pavers and blocks on. Okay, working on the last corner here. It's kind of tedious work, so I've been skipping most of it. If you wanna watch somebody dig, I have plenty of other videos on my channel. <laughs> all right, so what I'm trying to do is get this all level in all four corners. All right, good there, good there. The better part of a year has passed since I started this project and I have decided to regroup. Instead of using the unistrut that I had originally planned on using, I'm gonna use four x four posts for the base of the water tower. Uh, here's a clip of trying to use the unistrut and as you can see, total fail. I think the four x four idea is gonna be a much better idea. So it's gonna have this eight foot four x four cut in half and then notched so that the um, side runner pieces can fit into here. So let's get to work cutting these notches out. My first step here is to cut these two four by fours in half. So I'm gonna find four foot and a quarter inch on both of these. And that's going to be my point for halfway. Okay, I have those two eight foots cut in half, so four foot. Now you may be thinking a four foot water tower is not very high, but do keep in mind we're already 15 to 20 feet above the garden space on the hill. So this extra four foot is just basically for my convenience on uh, being able to access these water tanks. So what I'm doing now is marking five and a half inches down so I can put my two by six up here. So I need to cut this by the depth of an inch and a half. So I'm gonna set my tool here to an inch and a half. And then that's where I want to be able to cut that down to. I need to drop some oil on my combination square here. Okay. So I'm gonna cut out this notch right here and that will allow me to set that two by six in there. I've named this one front right so that the board is gonna come here and go out, but I also want a board to go back this way. So I'm going to just make a, another cut in here for a two by four, which is gonna be uh, three and a half inches. So I'm gonna come down a good bit not to interfere with this section up here. So let's just come to right here and do that. And then let's move up three and a half inches. Right there, I'm gonna make that mark. I've made several cuts in here with the hopes that I can just use a chisel to knock this loose. Something kind of like that. Okay, 
and I can run back over this real quick and just clean it up a little bit. Well, I believe that looks good enough. I'm going to continue to cut these two notches out on the other three, but I have to keep in mind of where they're going to be. So if this is front right, then this piece is going to come out. This bottom piece will go this way. So the next one needs to have this piece on the back and this on this side. After several trips hiking up this hill, I have my materials ready to go. So I have placed all of these 4x4s in the corners they are supposed to go in, and now it's time to assemble. I have measured the distance between my two base pieces and determined that 35 inches is a good distance between the two. So I'm going to measure 35 out here. To make sure this 2x4 stays where it's supposed to be, I'm just going to sink a 3 inch screw in here. Okay, I'm going to do that on both sides and that's just going to keep it into place. I've gone ahead and measured the distance from this side to this side as 80 inches. And so I need to cut that second board here and get that installed as well. Like with the other side, I'm just using a single three inch screw to keep these together. Now this is gonna be holding anywhere from 100 to 150 gallons of water. And so I'm gonna use these bolts here to go through uh, twice. Um, so there can be 16 of these all together. Hopefully that's enough to really get this thing secured. So I'm just going to drill through here. And I've bought a uh, box of washers. So I'm going to do one on one side and one on the other. And just feed this through here and then lock it down with the nut on the back side. Okay, I have all of those nuts and bolts installed and this thing is definitely firming up quite nice. Now it's time to get all of the slats going across here. Now, this thing is big enough to hold three of these 55 gallon drums. I just have two at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put enough slats here for the two of them and then I'll expand it later for the third. The first board I'm gonna put close to the edge here. I think I'm going to start it right where that uh, 4x4 ends. And that'll be my starting point for all of these. I have one board here and here, which are the two sides of the barrel. And then I'm matching up one more in the middle. So I figure that a 55 gallon water tank is going to weigh about 440 pounds. So these three boards should be able to hold it. And if for some reason it does decide to fall apart, then I will come back later and uh, beef it up a bit more. And that concludes today's build, for part one at least. I think that's going to do quite well for those two barrels. Not too bad at all. Well, it may not look like much to you, but I've been working on this for probably almost a year. <laughs> but it looks good, and I'm much happier with this than I was with the Unistrut idea. That was just not going to work. Well, uh, this concludes part one. In part two, I will be putting the water tanks on here and plumbing it together and hopefully getting the ram pump going and uh, we can give this a test so do stay tuned for that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye i started thinking what happens if somebody is up here and doesn't know that this thing has 800 pounds on it so i added uh, two extra supports one in the back one in the front and uh, i had enough wood up here for this support here I'm going to add one more over here to call it uh, finished. And then I added the extra boards up here 
to get the platform done. So if I come up here and give it a shake, uh, it's definitely nice and secure. So uh, I think that's going to be good.